<laughs> the varsity baseball teams were able to overcome miscues in field in the first game of a doubleheader against Comstock Park. Tonight, to pull out a come behind come from behind win over the Panthers five to four. Comstock Park jumped out to an early one to zero in the first inning. But Sparta came back and answered with two runs in the second inning to take the lead. Comstock Park added single runs in the third, fourth, and fifth inning to take a 4-2 to two lead into the sixth inning. In the bottom of the sixth inning, Jordan Ball let off with a hard ground ball hard to the left field. Ball advanced to third on a pickup attempt that got by the Panthers' first baseman. Brendan Maslowski got to first on a walk with runners on first and third. Bryce Davis hit... Hit the left center gap for a double, planting both the ball and Mislowski to tie the game. Davis then advanced to third on air by the second baseman, giving the Spartans a chance to pull ahead. David Yet came up with a big set fly to center field, scoring Davis, giving Spartans five to four lead. Jordan Ball then came into the game, shutting down the Panthers, getting the save and securing the five to four win and stopping a six game losing streak. Thanks, Jordan. Colton Vanderlees picked up the win for Sparta. In the night cap of the doubleheader against Comstock Park last night, Sparta struggled with errors and lack of hitting as they lost for the second time to CP this year to a 2-0 shutout. Jordan Ball, Jordan Ball pitched a great game for Sparta, only giving up four hits and one earned run. Brendan Maslowski went two for three at the dish, and Zach Wiseman also contributed a hit for the Spartans. Then they, they play a doubleheader tomorrow at Davenport University with the first game starting at 10 a.m.